gonna open up another setting here and I wanna use this setting just to show some of the preset materials that install with Boris Blue. Um, materials that use reflection maps, bump maps, and that enable you to create a wide variety of 3D looks on these on these surfaces of these 3D objects. So open up the style palette and material and extrusion tabs are new in there for those are new new kind of styles in Boris Blue. I'm in the metallic category um, in material styles and you see I'll apply a couple of a uh, couple of different styles from here. Some of these styles are based on procedural textures that are actually generated in Boris Blue using the natural media type. Um, other ones reference styles um, or images rather on disk that install with the product. So we go over to the colors just to quickly go through a couple of these. You can see um, you can obviously get a nice variety of looks using various combinations of highlight, diffuse, and ambient lighting and colors. Go to the uh, one of the bump map categories on materials. And if I adjust the scene lighting here, you'll see that the, actually let me choose a better frame to view that by moving my CTI over, that the bump maps respond to the 3D lighting, obviously in a realistic way, as you would expect for bump maps and they're hardware accelerated as well so it's a it's a decent speed preview and a quick export to disk take a look at one or two more of these um, haven't even looked at all of them yet Let's see. one thing I want to find one um, that just demonstrates how the materials can support alpha channels, so it can have areas of transparency as well. Uh, this one actually will do that. If I toggle over to the checkerboard background, you see how it can seem to be a hollow object um, that allows you to see through it as well. I'll toggle over to the reflection category of materials and just apply the first one there, which is a fully reflective material. and enable an environment map track. Now both the reflection maps, and let me just pan the camera around so you can see that that is a really a 3D environment map and a 3D reflection. The um, environment map and reflection map support six layered images, so it, it can create a cube map out of that to, to get that 3D effect. And it can either be a six layered Photoshop file or um, a DDS cube map file. Here's a, a reflection that mixes it with color. And let me just disable that environment map for now. Um, also in the style palette are a few other useful um, categories here. Here's a font browser, just to give you an idea of how quickly you can preview different fonts in 3D. Come with a nice little thumbnail preview there. It's great to be able to do this without having to stop playback and just gives you a quick idea of how it's going to look from all angles in your composition.